Hey guys, I'm uh, bringing you some really cool rocks today. Um, these are stones that I've purchased and traded for. Um, they're all different types. They're jade, uh, chrysoprase, um, leopard skin jasper, Burmese jade, and white Burmese jade. These stones come from all over the world. Sorry, I'm having technical difficulty. Uh, one of my favorite jades is um, called spinach jade. And look at that. That is beautiful. It comes from Siberia, where it's called Ar Arctic jade. I've got a pretty good block of that. It resells very, very well if you're in the market for some. I've got it. But it's a beautiful stone. The jewelry that's made from it is high dollar. Very, very nice. Here's a cool stone. This is just a small slab. This comes from America. It's called Rainbow Jade. Um, you can't really see the all the colors in it because um, it's hard to pick up, but it's got green, yellow, purple, lavender, white, everything. Comes from Nevada, I think. Not for sure. We got another favorite one of mine. This is Blue Bigs, and uh, it comes from Idaho, I believe. Not for sure, but man, that's a sweet stone. It is hard, it's considered a jasper and um, you can see the beautiful natural scenery that occurs within the stone. It makes really, really nice uh, stone pendants and stuff. And also, it's, a, it's a, just a beautiful stone. I believe it comes from Idaho. And we got another neat one. This is Peruvian opal. And as you can see, it's kind of rough, but uh, it's opal. It's called potch opal or common opal. Um, this type of opal can occur anywhere around the world. You can see it's got a little bit of pink in it, but it's really pretty. It's about a 7 on the Mohs scale. There's some more tiger eye that's been tumbled. I don't know where the this one came from. This was given to me. Most of the tiger eye I get is from Africa. And this is a very rare one. This is California Chrysoprase. You really can't see it that well, but this baby glows. Man, there, there's a a weird green in there that has, I don't know, it, it's almost magical to look at it. You really can't see it. But when sunlight hits the thing, oh my gosh, it is killer. It's unusual. The color, you just can't put your finger on it. But it looks like a living stone is about the way I'd describe it. This... Everybody likes this stone. This is natural copper. Um, this may have come from Argentina. I'm not for sure, but as you can see, it's it's really neat. It makes really cool jewelry. Uh, it's different. That green in there is just killer. But that's natural copper. And one of everybody's favorite is black jade. You can see it's veined, it's got some serpentine in it, and so it's not what you'd call super a super hard stone, but it does have some nephrite in it, so there's it, it's probably about a five on the Mo scale. It's really a fun stone to work. Here's a another rare one. If you can ever get it. This is purple jade in the rough. See what it looks like. It's about a seven to seven and a half on the Mohs scale. Um, this is about a medium quality jade. There's some really intense purple right through there, but uh, it's a good stone. It's it's nice. It comes from Bursa, Turkey. <clears throat> and this one's once jewelry is made out of it, everybody's favorite to go ooh and awe over. This is leopard jasper, and yes, it is beautiful. Uh, this comes from New Mexico, I believe. 
and just a gorgeous stone. It's inexpensive too. It's a lot of fun. It's easy to work and cut and everything. And this monster is Burmese Jade. That, you can't really see it, but it has a beautiful green to it. It's about a B grade. And uh, if it was A grade, uh, that would be wonderful. But it's a B grade. It's got real good selling, reselling ability. And last but not least, white Burmese jade. Actually, it's got lavender in it. It's got some purple, some off-white. It's kind of dirty. Stays out here in my shop. And you can see, this was a river tumbled boulder at one time. See the skin on the outside? And it's just a beautiful stone. Tough to work. Jade, this, this, the Burmese jade is jadeite. It's precious jade. And therefore a lot more valuable than your nephrite. Um, there's one other stone I want to show you real quick. This stone is an Arkansas River nodule. Now, inside this stone, it can be uh, nephrite, it can be agate, it could be jasper, it could even be opal. But the cool thing about these stones here is that these stones have the ability to heal themselves if they're buried for any length of time in the ground. If there's cracks or other things that affect the stone, if the stones um, in the ground long enough, it'll fill with agate or opal and seal that and heal itself. The skin that you see on the outside of this, uh, if a stone comes out of the Arkansas River and it doesn't have this good of skin on it, it's destroyed. So basically this stone is um, uh, designed for uh, going down the Arkansas River and not being turned into gravel. Please don't ask me if there's a moral message in this. I have absolutely no idea. but. Uh, Anyway, it's just a really neat and cool stone. It um, uh, could be just about any color you can imagine once you cut it open. But I like these because you never know what you're going to get when you get them. Um, I've, I've had beautiful green, reds. I had one that was clear. But when you cut them, you can always see where they've been hit, fractured, and then re rehealed. They're really amazing stones, and they're tough. My gosh. But remember that skin on the outside, it's really hard and smooth, and um, um, the inside is normally beautiful. But they occur just about any waterway where there's uh, agate and jasper, you'll get that really funky skin on there. And that skin actually protects the stone and keeps it from disintegrating. But anyway, I'll show some more rocks probably tomorrow, but this is just part of my vast... Oh, I missed this. These are moonstones from India. Um, they're a feldspar, and uh, once they're cut, they glow. They're beautiful, absolutely beautiful stones. But these come from India, called moonstones. But anyway, this is just a small fraction of my collection of stones that I work from. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot.